U.S. Congress is reportedly readying legislation that would ban Americans from traveling to North Korea. It comes in the wake of the death of an American college student who died just days after returning to the U.S. in a coma after nearly a year and a half in North Korean captivity. Noah Am has more. South Carolina Republican Joe Wilson and California Democrat Adam Schiff had sponsored the legislation for a travel ban to North Korea weeks before Otto Warmbier's death. But after he passed away, there have been growing calls for the law to be quickly passed, prompting the House Foreign Affairs Committee to draw up the bill with an aim to put it to a vote as early as next month. Under the bipartisan bill, Americans would not be allowed to visit North Korea for five years. There are some exceptions, however, such as those going for humanitarian work, but these people would have to apply for and receive a license from the Treasury Department. Assuming the bill receives a favorable vote in the committee, it will get a vote in the House and most likely the Senate. The legislation would need the president's signature to go into effect if it's not passed with a two-thirds vote, but both sides of the aisle seem to want the new bill to be implemented. Both Republicans and Democrats say the new law is needed to prevent U.S. citizens falling victim to tourist ads that lure them to visit North Korea and then end up being used as bargaining chips. North Korean officials deny Warmbier was mistreated while he was detained there, but Washington is not convinced. Noara, Arirang News.